Yeah. Yo, uh, what's going on, y'all? Bienvenue if you what's speak going French. On? This is for the culture. <laughs> Como dali vous? For the culture, <laughs> episode three. Uh, we're here Como live. Como vos if you speak Portuguese? Uh, you said what? Mike, <laughs> Mike is over here Mike tripping off some going. Doritos. Mike is Haitian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to Photo Culture. Uh, this is episode three with yours truly, Cecil Williams, uh, Osahan, yeah. Mike, we got hey. Calvin yep. in the building. We are here live. Uh, what's going on, fellas? We having a good time, obviously, uh, on, my, on my life, raining <laughs> on my life right now. Uh, everybody's doing good? Yeah. We, we good in the hood. Fantastic today. Fan- Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. Um, and I'm doing good. Uh, so I'm going to just, I guess Calvin wanted to do a, a, a semi uh, p- party or something or, or whatever, a little baby shower, if you will, yeah. uh, for your boy. Uh I hope, I really hope this doesn't go as south as it needs to be. <laughs> south. We're, just, we're congratulating you on um, the gift. Yes. From the Lord. Right? <laughs> from the Lord. You about to be um, Pappy Cecil. Yes. Pappy. Uh, <laughs> so, Pappy Cecil. I'll be Pappy. the Pappy Boss. <laughs> <laughs> Episode one. Um, oh, we're, we're trying to figure, figure out if we can actually go on and they can see our faces. <laughs> right, sure. Uh, <laughs> um, so yes, it is very, very much true. I am uh, having a gift of mine. I'm having a baby boy. Uh, okay. and is he gonna be Cecil the fourth? No, I will not. C4? Build, I'm not building a Roman C4? Empire. C4? Come on, C4. C4. No, 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 That's no, no, actually kind of flame. No, no, no. I don't want my baby to blow up. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, corny. He is due. <laughs> you keep, you keep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> See, I do. See. I did. This is gonna go. See, look, that he could live his whole life as C three PO, but he couldn't do wow. it. Wow! Wow! Let his son grow up to C C four. Jesus <laughs> Christ! So, guys, uh, so, <laughs> so continue. Right, so, so yes, give us the my grand son announcement. Is due. Uh, it's supposed to be in February, but it's on honestly, Valentine's Day. Like, hey, please, no, no. Why not? That'd be a no. great gift. That's a I'm great not. gift and a That's great a excuse great for you to never yeah. have to do anything uh, on Valentine's anything Day. Anything ever again. <laughs> ever. February, it, but it's looking like well, maybe late January. We'll see. Better not be Super Bowl weekend. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dang! <laughs> I just realized that. You're welcome. You're pick oh, pick, pick Osan! Game over his son every year. Dude. Yikes! <laughs> um, yikes! Daddy nah, game. I'm broken. just playing. Nah. I, yeah, I mean, if I the Cowboys this. make the Super Bowl, it's worth oh, missing. I'm definitely. Yes, I'm definitely watching my son. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's 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 back up. That was a shot at me about the Cowboys. <laughs> How do you know it's a up? shot at you? Because I just made a comment. Right. My, my Cowboys. He was looking th- at me. So my, I, but but he's but he's he's thinking about me. No, I'm not. He's looking at you and thinking Cecil's about me. He's an Eagles fan. Uh, and I oh, hear Dave's Eagles? mind right now saying, "Paul, <laughs> oh, you're, you're you're an Eagles fan. I am an Eagles fan. Okay, let's continue to talk about your child. <laughs> wow, wow. Anyways, <laughs> where is she at, Dave? Is gonna be Dave trolling us right now. Um. So yes. Yeah, so, uh, baby boy coming. Um. No, I'm not naming my son after me. I am the third. Um. What are you naming him? Do you have a name yet? I will after announce that father, soon. Michael. I will announce Shout that out. soon. It better not be something ethnic. I will. Uh, I will announce that soon. Like, like one I of said. the days in in Kwanzaa or something. Wow. Umoja. You gonna name him? You gonna name him <laughs> Jamal? Know, I know a kid named Umoja though. You name him Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, we do have a name. <laughs> Stupid. Taekwon? Taekwon. Yeah. All I thought was Taekwondo, sorry. Um, but we do have a name, uh, but we will announce that soon. Uh, the reason Are you why us right now? won't be. Sure, oh we go that route. Right? <laughs> oh the reason why. Lord. The reason why. I'm Pusher T, Osaha. and I'm going to expose right. that before it happens. <laughs> I promise. Are you going to hide your son? I wasn't hiding the world. But the son. reason I why uh, I will not. <laughs> yeah, no, go for it. I'm go leaning for it. towards In all not, not no, naming uh, my, my baby Cecil is because I'm third. So I really believe that my name is going to be great in the way, in the process of being great. I hate Dave. <laughs> in the process of being great. Um, but I do believe that I'm the one that's supposed to just leave that name on a high note as far as legacy is concerned. So... Um, I want, you know, my seed to have its own chapter. Um, whatever I'm supposed to finish, I don't want him to feel like he has to pass on or carry on anything. I want to be able to end uh, Cecil on a high note. Um, and so um, even with Cecil, like the meaning of Cecil is not good. So <laughs> that's why what it's it extra mean? blind. Okay. Blind. No comment. Okay. Explain, explain blind. a lot. 
Explain the last well, um, <laughs> I appreciate it though. You taking you taking the LeBron James route though. I don't know if you guys heard LeBron say yeah. this recently that he regretted naming he his regretted. son LeBron Jr. Yeah. Because now I mean, he has all that pressure on yeah. him, you know. Yeah, no, so so you named your son Calvin Jr. Now he's gonna have all this pressure on him to be great. But I mean, <laughs> well, he, he, no, yeah, be he great. Yeah. <laughs> like now, <laughs> um, no. For me, it's 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 more of I want name Cecil to be great to do what it's supposed to do, and then my cease son, with you. <laughs> cease with. I like that. That's Cecil is gonna cease with me. That's why you're blindly you know, leading so. us through this actual podcast right now. <laughs> so. Yeah, Cecil actually means blind. That's what, it. Always has a negative thing. Who but was watching Helen uh, Keller. And, but <laughs> uh, you say watching? Did you say Helen Keller watching Helen Keller? Uh, well, reading the book. Okay, that's bad, but okay. <laughs> but yeah. Random, anyway, random so I know this just feels like a quiet storm, guys. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. For those, who this don't what know, happens quiet, when you up at four in the morning. Quiet Mike storm is actually uh, no poet name. My stage name before I went to my. <laughs> was it really, bro? Was, name? It was quiet storm. I thought that was the was my theme song. Quiet Storm. Yeah, it was quite fun. <laughs> okay. So, and I changed it. Listen, artists are changing names. It. What was uh, Two Chain's name before he? Titty you know? Boy. Titty Boy. There you go. Titty Boy. Yeah, you, you know, know that? this. I did not know that. What? As much as you love them titties, boys. Honey. <laughs> 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 Oh my God! Oh, so oh my God! He decided to walk out. We should just end this podcast now. Have a good night, guys. Oh. See you later. No. Um, <laughs> Don thoroughly, DeMarco. I, I thoroughly, I thoroughly, <laughs> sincerely love the Lord. Um, and that, even alone, that was a whole process in itself of dealing with certain things. But I'm alive and well. I'm better. I'm stronger. And um, I praise God for it. And I praise God for my baby. Um, and I can't wait to be a dad. So, um. Being a dad awesome. is a wonderful thing, by the it way. It is. Thank you, Calvin. I, I look forward to being a dad. And, um... <laughs> Y'all pray for us and our producer. <laughs> please. Please. Please pray for our producer. He's, he's, he's the reason why probably a lot of stuff go south. Um, so, anyways, enough about me. Uh, what's going on? Um, ESPN released an article, switching up the, to sports... ESPN released a article, well, a countdown of players. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, as you guys know, we're actually, you know, based out of Cali. And so we're very West Coast heavy with our knowledge and sports and stuff like that. West, West so West. primarily Whoa. some of us, some, I want to say all. Mike, it's time to step back away from the mic now. This is, it has nothing, nothing to do with, do with me. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> right. Mike is a <laughs> Mike is a great producer and sports is not in his identity uh, at all. Not there. So um, ESPN released an article. Um, releasing a countdown of their top was it fifty? Oh, you know what? No, it's Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report. Excuse Bleacher me. Report. Yeah, the top, top fifty play. Yeah. Yes. So ESPN did their top one hundred players in the league right now. Mm-hmm. Bleacher Report did their top fifty players of all time, which is which very was... ridiculous. Can somebody pull this list up so we actually have? Yeah, some please. Kind of I pulled the list. I up was right going now. off uh, this past week because they had Luca in front of Kimba. I oh, don't you're agree. Talking about ESPN, like current players right now. They had oh that that was their yeah top of current players. Let me tell um, you, ESPN is very terrible at ranking players. They've been terrible for since my life. Since they <laughs> since, since they, no since since, since, since ESPN started their their NBA player rankings in 2012, they have been horrible. They've yeah. been horrible. Yeah, I, I I did not agree with uh, agree some with rankings. They say. Yeah. Anything. So, uh, but apparently though, so as Osan's pulling it up, uh, the countdown was really interesting. So they had MJ at number one. They had LeBron. And number two, then that's where we had problems um, all the way down. And I'm sure he'll read it off, but all the way down to Kobe Bryant being number 14. Exactly. You hear the silence? My that's exactly, exactly it. <laughs> that is that um, I understand that most basketball players and most basketball fans are going to put Jordan at number one. Right. I understand that. Which right. as he should be. He should be. And everybody the case else could is, be made for Kobe, but I understand that I'm a huge Kobe Bryant fan, and I'm talking just I love Kobe Bryant right. when it comes to basketball. Right. So my issue with Oh, the side list, note, they had Durant right at behind him at fifteen, by the way. Yeah, I mean Durant's great, but uh, I don't know. I, I got the Durant. list. Y- y'all want to hear this list? Yeah, re- re- so re- one re- is re- Jordan, re- two's LeBron, three is Kareem. Kareem's nice. Four is Magic. Nice. Okay. Five is Larry Bird. Uh, Six is Shaq. He's 
Mm -hmm. Seven is Tim Duncan. <clears throat> Ooh, no, no, no. Eight is Bill Russell. Nine mm -hmm. is Wilt. And ten is one Wardell Stephen Curry. H hell no. Hell no. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. No, that's crazy. Now, and mind you, so here's the Top honorable 10? here's the honorable mention list, which is even I think me even more egregious. You have guys on the honorable mention list like Allen Iverson. That what? I mean, that, yes, Allen Iverson's on the honorable honorable mention. mention who honorable should be mention. over Steph. Uh, here's the so honorable mentions in alphabetic order. Half of them we probably don't know. Alvin Adams, Lamarcus Aldridge, Carmelo Anthony, Paul Arizon, Chauncey Billups, Chris Bosh. Elton Brand, Jimmy Butler, These Vince Carter. Mentions. These are honorable mentions for greatest of all time. Dave Cowens, no. Anthony Davis, Vladi Divac. Stop, stop. Whoa, whoa, oh, sorry, it's time to stop. Mark stop, Gasol. Stop, stop, stop. It's time to stop. Oh, no, no. Oh, it gets worse. Al Horford. Stop. Jeff Hornacek. Stop it. Jeff Hornacek. Hornacek. You know what the... the, the, the Andre Kirilenko. <laughs> Come on, now. AI I'm surprised there, they don't I even said. have Ray Allen on there. If, you, if, you're gonna, if you really want to go that route. I think uh, did Ray no Ray Allen made the top fifty I think I think he made the he top, made top 50? 50? I think he made the top fifty list wait so no he didn't Paul Gasol, Paul Gasol made the top fifty this list. has Man, to be this has to be based off of rings right this has to be based this off is of not rings. based off of rings no 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 but what I'm I don't know what the explanation yeah. was but what right. I'm saying is that when you're talking about like the Bill Russells like Kobe to me is the greatest Laker of all time so Manu Ginobili's thirty seven and he's they call him the foreign Kobe for a reason. But I don't know if he should be 37 because I haven't looked at the whole list. I only care about the top 10. I only right. actually care about the top three. And I don't know why Kobe's <laughs> not in the top three. That's my issue. My issue it's is a lot if, of disrespect towards My Kobe issue game. is that if they say that Kobe's the closest thing to Jordan, right? Right. If he's the closest thing, if Jordan's 1A and Kobe's 1B, then that means that we got 1 and 2 right there. If they're that far off, then that means that LeBron should be over Jordan. That doesn't make any sense that Kobe would be 14 because right. – Stephen Curry and Kobe are not even on the same planet when it comes to basketball. It's not even close. Like, if they play one-on-one, -on -one or, like, Stephen Curry won't even score. He won't score. He won't score a bucket. It'd be... He has an advantage in today's rule book, my personal belief. I don't think he's that... He's great. He's no, a great yeah, player. He's great. But as far as just... If someone to take him out, like, yo, let's play 21, I, it's hard for me to be like, oh, Steph got Kobe. Like... No, it's not, it's not even close. You know that he hasn't made any offense, all defensive teams ever in his whole no. career, and he never, never will. No. So, never I mean, will. my thing is, like, Kobe Bryant is heavily disrespected for you to have him at 14. I don't even know who 11, 12, 13 were, but to, for him to be not even in the top five is ridiculous. So, yeah, I, I don't – I, I get – I mean, I appreciate Bill Russell. I appreciate Will, but I feel like they should be lower. Like, I just, I don't see mm. them. Bill Russell, Bill Russell, you ask anyone who. I mean, do got 11, what, 11 were, rings? Yeah. Yeah. And I, some of them as a, as a coach. You, if you ask anyone who watched that era of Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain, mm -hmm. Bill Russell's better than Wilt. True. I believe that. Never. I believe that. I believe that it should be, in no particular order, I believe that it should be Jordan, LeBron, I think a, a Kobe, a, a Magic Johnson. Sure. And a Kareem in the top five. I don't think for that sure. it's anybody better than any of those players. So where would you? Player, oh. But where would you put a, a name? Kind of just popped in my head. Where would you put Hakeem? I was just about to say that Hakeem is thirteen. On the that's list. to me. That's, that's a travesty. That's I very think he's top ten. Hakeem's top ten. Yeah, but see, I don't think Hakeem is. But I mean, and they all play different positions. But if, in, in terms of, he's not top five. No, definitely. Not. No, he's not but, top five at all. But if you, but but I put him over Duncan. A lot, and Duncan is. Freaking great! Yeah, I, I put him over. But Duncan. I like it came over Duncan. But here, so here's the Duncan's thing. the best four of all time, by the way. But he played more minutes at Dun center. And than he Osahan did at knows that. <laughs> Osahan knows that Duncan's the best four of all time because we've had these conversations. Who now number two. Is, but du but Duncan played more minutes at the five than he did at the four. I understand that, but you also would agree that he's the best four <laughs> of all time. Just agree with me. Just say I, yes. I would. I would. Can he, we so, go position so the guy, by position? So the, guy, so the guy who made this list. He, he saw the world blew up after he made this stupid list. He's is it the same guy who made that rappers list? I wish put, I would. Like, Joe Buttons at third. We'll talk, we'll talk about don't. that at okay. a later date. Please don't. But <laughs> later. this dude from Bleacher Report has a, a follow up piece: is why I have Steph Curry over Kobe on my all time NBA rankings. And he goes on to say that there's six categories that he based it off of: scoring, shooting, playmaking, defense, accolades, and impact. Scoring category: Kobe Whoa. takes the cake. It's based then off impact. Is, it's got to be based on, off impact. Hold on. Scoring category, Kobe takes the impact, takes the takes that one. Shooting, of course, Steph. Um, playmaking, 
he gives that one to Steph. Hell defense, no. defense, he gives that one to Kobe, of course. That's two, two. Accolades, of course, that goes to Kobe. That's three, Impact. Two. He gives that one to Steph. So we're at three. So three. we're at three three. Okay. And so he said, raw numbers are fairly close, and Curry can't touch Kobe's longevity, at least not yet. But Curry does more for his team than Kobe did, as evidenced by the impact numbers. I don't so, agree with that at so all. So we're living in a we're living in an era, obviously, of not just recency bias, but also numbers are everything. But the fact of the matter is is numbers lie. I know the, the old oh, yeah. adage says numbers never lie, but numbers do lie. I mean, yeah. James Harden is putting up phenomenal numbers. Right, but what has he done impact wise outside of making kids travel more? <laughs> well, he claims he's not traveling. Right. I guess, I guess the issue, got, that, got I guess the issue that I have is yes. the one legged the impact. Point. I understand that they're saying everybody wants to shoot threes now, so I understand because mm-hmm. you think about Jordan's impact, everybody wants to have their tongue out, everybody but me. Everybody wanted I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to everybody wanted to have their tongue out, so you wanted to like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> nasty guy, Osahan and Seesaw, nasty. <laughs> uh, so everybody wanted to. I get the impact. I yeah. remember Space Jam, yeah. and then now you look at you look at Curry, but just from a pure basketball fan and just understanding the game. Like when you say like who was more important, if you take if you build the team strictly around Curry and he doesn't have the shooters, then I I I, I think that. You can't have Curry just take the last shot one on one like you can have with Jordan. It just doesn't. I mean, not Jordan or Kobe, either or. I think that when it comes down to that, it's purely it, it's bias and it's based on it's 2019 and Curry is still playing and he's one of the best players in the league right now because yeah, recency list. bias for sure. Because right. for the first couple of years, Curry's ankles were horrible. Oh, and yeah. We wouldn't he had, even that never put him. He was looking like place. Samuel Jackson in glass. <laughs> I mean, he never even wanted to put him on done. his I here's a here here's one thing I look at as well. I initially I would say. This season is going to, I think, help elevate or detract from the Steph Curry all-time great discussion and where he belongs on the oh, yeah. list. Simply, but They about to get at him this year. I in, believe it. But in reality, no all they're, all they're, they're, but all they're really missing is KD and then Klay Thompson will be out for the first half of the season. You look at Kobe. Kobe, exactly. won, Kobe won three in a row with Shaq and then won two in a row, almost three in a row with Arguably, nobody really on his team. Pal Gasol, okay, yeah. but he's not a he's not an all time. I mean, he's not Durant. He's he's nah. not Durant. He's not Shaq. Kobe. Yeah. I, Kobe was playing with some bums. Let's be honest. Yeah. The night he That's scored eighty one, the second leading scorer on the team was Smush Parker. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I could have played he? for that team. Smush, yeah, Park, Smush Parker, and he does William R&B. is his government name. Smush no, Parker is probably yeah, he selling. Does. He's probably he selling music. used cars over here. In, in no, he does signs. music. He does music. And no, Mike music. Is, yes, he does. And Mike is producing his next album. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is producing his next album. No, he really does music. Seriously, Smush he does Parker. music. Yes, because I seen him perform on on one of these shows before in BT or. What does he have show? an album? You told me about BT Uncut. What's that show that you got me watching? BT. What's that show Cecil had me watching? Trying to dog right now. With that Nelly, what's that tip drill thing? What he had to drill? When I learned how to use my credit card, what was that thing? <laughs> Smush, anyway, Smush, had a, Smush had a girl in a Kobe jersey. <laughs> Twerking it. We gonna bring Mike back to life. Why? In this? No, oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot Mike was here. Yeah, hey, low key. Uh, we, so we gonna bring him back into this. You be careful, Mike. I know for, he is. To Ike. Uh, 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 expertise. I mean, in my head, because every time I go to movies, him, he always know the backdrop of everything in the movies. Um, as people go uh, to the movies, of course we know Spider Man is back. They renewed their deal uh, with Sony and Marvel. Um, I'm like, grow up! <laughs> Waking up at four o'clock in the morning and only know about Spider Man. Nah, no that's sports. no. He, yeah. He's not that he wakes up before he gets in it for from fighting crime. No, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Bro, come on. Slinging your Spider-Man's web, Spider-Man's huh? never going to have... Slinging your web? Pause. Pause. Cecil, come on. Pause. Pause. What's the boys today, man? Pause, pause, pause. Anyway, Spider-Man ain't going to never have no dreads. Spider-Man is back. Spider-Man with dreads. He won't even fit. Spider-Man, so Spider-Man is back. Get over here. He's back, so they have a film that's being going to be released in July of 2021. Um, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Why are you asking me? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, and of course, Tom Holland gave it away with this whole Instagram video. Um, Always snitching. I mean, so yeah, he he definitely snitched before the announcement came. Yep. So Marvel has like a grip of movies coming out, gazillion, um, which is exciting. It's crazy. What else have they got coming out? I think uh, Hawkeye. 
Uh, that's all. That's gonna be on there. Well, twenty one Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah Disney, Disney Plus, Plus situation. Which but they do have. I'm hopping on that. Yeah, they have for a, sure. They do have another Thor movie coming out. They have another Doctor Strange coming out. Another Black Panther coming the Tupac out. Tupac documentary. Oh, um, the Tupac documentary. <laughs> <laughs> called, no, no. no. <laughs> there's gonna be there's gonna be another <laughs> Avengers. Um, Shen Chi and the Ten Rings. Is the Wanda, Eternals. Wanda, uh, Vision on Disney Plus or? Yeah, yeah it's Wanda, gonna be on Wanda, Wanda, Wanda Vision. Wanda Vision's gonna be on Disney Plus. And what's the other one? Doctor Strange and Doctor Strange. Yeah, on um, the multiverse, they're they're rebooting Blade. Yes, yeah, I am Ma, Ma, Ma Shira no. Ali. No, Ma Shira yes. Ali. Ma Shira oh, I Wesley Snipes is playing. I, I didn't yes. know, but is, is he, did he pay his taxes? Still ain't paying his taxes. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Still he probably did. Um, he's still yeah. he's hoping to reboot uh, New Jack City. Which is dope. Oh, you talking about? Uh, oh, you gonna be on Tekashi. trial again? <laughs> Stitching. Takashi six nine. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> it was all him. <laughs> CMB, the Cash Money Brothers. It's bigger than me. I'm taking it's everyone. A fantastic down. movie, man. That is one of my all time favorites. That's a top ten movie for me. For real, honest, no, that's top ten. Yeah. Mike, man, what's your take on Spider Man? How you feel about him? If he goes back to Sony, it's gonna be trash. Really? Have you seen the last I two? Did. I did. It's franchises from Sony, even though CL is very nostalgic for Tobey Maguire. Those movies are horrible. Just watch them yeah. again. Oh, they don't. They that, don't hold up. So you saying the new Spider Man is better than the old Spider Man? Watch it again. That's not actually. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> you do it. You. No, no, no. Before, before we start throwing, before it gets personal, what, what are you basing that on? On, the movies themselves, like not based on nostalgia, because I can watch the 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 original trilogy again with Tobey Maguire. Number one's fire. Number two is okay. Number three is horrible. Like they had to Why? Be doing jazz. Like, come on. Oh, oh, so you're, you're saying the storyline and all. So storyline story 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 as well as trash. It's all trash. So you talking? Yeah. It's just, it's just uh, trash. Come on, you got you got to agree. Is there a way that we can like cut what he's saying out? <laughs> <laughs> Mike out here sounding like Bleacher Report. Well, Recency <laughs> bias. It's trash, bro. I I'm never liked Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man. Why? Because he's white. No. <laughs> I understand that. I understand that about you. Tom Highland is white. First of all. Um, He's British. Let's British. be honest though. Hey, hey. <laughs> Same difference. Spider-Man Into the Multiverse was flame though. Yeah. Oh, one? yeah. That was the cartoon one. Yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, with the little black kid. Yeah. Yeah, because they oh, had one of the had Biggie playing and all the other stuff playing in the background. Mm-hmm. It was dope. It was, it was one of the greatest. It was, greatest. It was one of the greatest. Except for that stupid Post Malone song they had. Yeah. The Sunflower song. That song's. They Man, still play song played out. I just. I'm tired of it. The rest of the songs on the album is. Pretty cool, but Post Malone, I, don't, I can't stand Post Malone. Nah, but what's wrong with Post Malone? Yeah, like what's, what's up with him? Why do we not like Post Malone? Post Malone. Why did say we? I mean, why does <laughs> Cecil <laughs> not, not like Post Malone? I, he I would gladly work with Post Malone. He just does, he just doesn't no. appeal to me. That's all. I don't. I don't why, Cecil? What's all. your what's your objection toward him? I feel like mm-hmm. he's not in a. I won't say not in the lane. But <laughs> And does, skin. does it deal? No. Does it deal with the con- no. the melanin content no. in his body? No. No. Okay. It just doesn't appeal to me. I just don't like. I just like his music. Is his, his his what homeless demeanor? He looks like a homeless person. To yeah, you. Like no, because he likes Kanye, yeah. and that's all Yeezy season line is is a bunch of homeless in grave clothes. Yeah, that, that, is, that is true. Except for the three fifties. Well, no, Post Malone. He's he's cool. It's just his music. I don't listen to his music that much. I just don't take take I a chance. Just take 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 a chance. Just he took a chance on Chance the Rapper and see what that happened. I took a chance. Yikes! But yeah, uh, <laughs> the, the big day was just a big positivity fest. I love my wife. Go ride a bike. Like that's all the big day was. <laughs> Go ride a bike. <laughs> Got it. Some people. It's a harsh line. With so, Mike, you, you said you would work with Post Malone in RB. Why? Because he because he'll do anything for money. Exactly. He might do anything, he might do anything for the I respect bread. that. Exactly. Anything? anything? There's a there's a strong line to what I won't do. No. Okay. It's not. <laughs> CL knows me well. <laughs> I know this man. I know another guy that I met with you that'll do anything for the bread. I'm just no. That's a man. different breed. That is a different breed. Hey, hey, don't talk about man in here to defend himself. I know. That's oh why my I say gosh. Because I love him. <laughs> Actually, Mike, who's your top three that you would want to work with? Um. Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. <laughs> <laughs> I want to work with Pharrell. I want to work with. Uh, I really want to work with Kanye because he's okay. dope. And I want to work with. Um, I actually chance the rapper. My, Mike, okay. very, yeah, I was gonna say, be very careful what you say. No, off the first right. episode, you got crucified. Yeah, you did. Wait, when you say when you say <laughs> you top got, three, you mean artists or you mean? Producers? I didn't mean artists, but he, he mean, went to the producer route. Artists. So you, Pharrell, you Pharrell's, Pharrell's an artist. Pharrell's an artist. Today. No, I mean, he Pharrell's like, an artist. I mean, I know we're not talking about that though. Artist, <laughs> artist. You understand what he meant? Right. Yeah. I, I mean, Pharrell's an artist, but he's more he's more production. known for production. He's yeah. he's more known for for his production, not his beat making. It was really Chad who did all the beat making. Right. 
Chad I'm sorry, I'm just sounding like Mike off the first episode. Chad Hugo is fire though. Chad like the man's yeah. Hey, Chad, Chad was the Chad brains, who? man. Chad Hugo. Chad Chad Hugo. Oh. Yeah, he's pretty like, man's sick. <laughs> 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 hey, I felt that <laughs> I'm talking to so, our so producer. Said, so for real, for real. I felt that on the inside. Kanye on the inside. Chance. <laughs> Got it. Chance. Like, Chance who? Chance Rapper. Why? But R A P P E R. Why yeah. would you want to work with Chance the Rapper out of all the rappers? Why would you pick Chance? Because he's he, he, he take risks. Even though the Big Day wasn't a great album, has he had a great album? But is what he's doing is well, is it a risk? Are hard. His mixtapes are dope. His albums, at the Acid something. Acid, 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 acid rap. You have to be on Acid to even like that album. And when it's a lot of Acid, 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 acid so. smokes out here then. <laughs> <laughs> he takes chances. Name take a chances. name a, a rapper who takes more chances than Chance. Kanye. That was a. Respect. That I mean that was <laughs> it was. That was a setup. I know. Like you <laughs> Calvin, Calvin, what's your issue with Chance? I feel like you got. There's no issue with Chance. It's just that I don't overhyped. Yeah, he's very he's overhyped. overhyped. It's okay. no issue. It's That's just true. And when he, if you say top three, who would you want to work with? I just don't think Chance in my top nothing. Recency bias. That's the title of this episode. It's gonna have to be recency bias. Recency bias. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, yeah, but he's not even recent like that. I don't. I just don't think that chance. I mean, it's okay. If no, you no, like no. Them. I'm just saying, it. like, if you, you could have said Drake, you could. But I guess that's your top three. Yeah. Nah. And I, and I, you don't really like Drake, Drake though, like that fun, though. Yeah. You like, yeah, I'm not. Oh, there's just some people that's better in chance than me. That I just wouldn't. Now I want to work with Cole's production. J Cole's production is hard. Yeah, I mean Kendrick like, Lamar. I mean, I'm just I'm surprised you said Chance out of and all. And K Dot scares me. Like he seemed like he over perfectionist. So I think yeah. I wouldn't be up to the chance to actually. You say K Dot go for it. Like because, I mean, yeah, because he works with Dre. That's what happens. You're gonna be, you want it to be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you could have said you could have said Eminem. Why not Eminem? Re- help him resurrect his career. Oh, no, his career is I oh, mean, oh, his oh, career oh. is in debt. Yeah, Eminem that's true. Is still kind of strong, I'm and that's why. No, and that's why well, you that's have NF. Um, so who, 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 who? don't do that, man. That. Don't, don't come in NF don't like that, man. that, man. Listen, you don't want to listen. Yo. Okay, you go have NF's people in your inbox. It's not gonna be fun. Yo. Yeah, bro. His fans go rowdy. People, but people, even with NF, people are confused on why he's getting so many numbers, big numbers, and he they feel like they haven't heard of him. Yeah, he has a very committed fan base. Very. Like he's he's he's, he's, a, he's a sanitary version of Eminem. But it's so but. But to be kind as well, though, to be fair, they come from the same part of the world, so you can't mm. be mad at it. It so is what it is. Same DNA. Yeah, same stuff. DNA, same flow, all of that stuff. Okay. I just can't listen to him because he, he yells too much. Like, stop being angry, bro. Like, That's you're white. Angry. This is this reverse. This is crazy. Racism. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> like you're winning that life automatically. Be, be cool. Right. Mike, Mike is a black Hebrew Israelite. <laughs> he about to, he wanted to get rid of all the Edomites. <laughs> oh hell! Uh, so that's that's pretty much our time. And this wrapping is the end up. of the podcast. Uh, we're canceled. We're canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's wrap it up. Our Let's producer wrap. is anyone like, got the wrap it up go. box? <laughs> My goodness. Um. Uh, so before we wrap up, man, what's uh after whenever Kanye's uh, West album drop um what do you feel is going to be his next or what how do you think people are going to receive him after bro kanye he's smart like okay he, he's dropping the whole gospel thing right mm-hmm. making everyone in the christian world debate oh we should just accept him because he's preaching christ that's cool his album's most likely just gonna be a secular album with jesus thrown in there mm-hmm. after everything happens people are most likely either gonna still hype the train or forget about it he says it's gonna be what? Don't do that. Shopping. Don't do that. <laughs> he's, he's setting us up for the next episode. Look, right. Kanye will come in leading lead worship somewhere. He already doing that right now. Right, he's doing that. No. You think he's still gonna At do that? Keep doing it? Think there are, it. Aren't those people that he's working with mega churches? I, oh, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, I mean he's already work. He's already doing. Yeah. Mm, he's like in church. New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. That's a mega church. What's, yeah. the, what's the pastor oh. that Ti was talking about? What's his name? Yeah, that Jamal Bryant, Bryant. That Bryant. new birth. Bryant. Yeah, new birth. He's at Bryant. He's at Fellowship. Yeah. yeah. Is that a, um, where is that at? Where are they at? Atlanta? Atlanta. Yeah. Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. 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 They used to be booming. I, I think. What do you mean used to? 
No comment. That's for another day. Another time. Oh, another set him up. Yeah, Look, set yeah, with the alley you know, so. hey, This man's in that, in that field. Episode. He may need a job. He may need a job one day. This my, man's in that field. Get my kneecaps Here's my resume. Out. <laughs> I think, I, wait, wait, wait. What'd you say about me in 2019 right, on that right. episode three? Episode number three. <laughs> right. It's Was it for the uh, culture? <laughs> some, of these, some of these pastor cats is petty, but that's another <laughs> Oh, I, I I think if Kanye was smart, he should just drop a double album. Yeah. You know, Yandy yeah. and Jesus can't just do like he's a. Imagine that he's E40 and just drop a double album with 50 tracks. Like 50 tracks just, on it. Just give me seven 50 solid tracks. songs. No, no, because his last album of seven songs was. Don't it don't was, go there. No, it was what? It was what? It was what? It was fire. No, 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 no. Wait, our producer. No, no, that was him. That was that was him. That was him. No, that not, was him and Kid Cudi. There's more than two good songs on there. more than two. The Kids See Ghost was cool. Kids See Ghost was fire. That it was, was cool. Was the the other one. No, no, no. We're talking about him by himself. Yeah. I don't know what the name of the album is. Listen, yeah, I'm not going to say. It's called Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Called, it's called Yeah. It's called Yeah. Yeah. Yeah wasn't trash. It just shares DNA with the hefty bag. Wait, y'all. Our producer is trying to contain. It just shares DNA with the hefty bag. So we're talking about Yeah. So out of seven songs, if two were good, that's twenty eight percent of the album. That's that's solely Man, based on look, the Max that's, a I, that's a that's a good that's a good that's a good batting percentage in baseball. But he when we've been waiting as long as we were fire, waiting, yeah. what? So, so, so mine was fire. Leave, no mistake. Ghost no mistake was Ghost Town was fire. That's all. Two out of seven. Fire. I'm with Dave on this one. That Aunt album Clemens. wasn't popping like that, bro. Is he with Dave you, who? bro? <laughs> oh, Dave, oh, Dave. Is he with? <laughs> Dave is a producer. Oh. Dave is. Wait, is Dave a producer or a beat maker? <laughs> he's but, a beat maker. Oh, all around. So we bringing that back? Let's let's not let's not. No, he's like he's like hit maker. So I don't have to yell. <laughs> <laughs> I want to point out that Kanye is a tastemaker within the hip hop culture. That is true. Okay. Tastemaker. Every single thing that he's done. The music culture has tried to copy. Mind mm. you, he dropped Yeezus, which I think is probably my favorite album from him. Hmm. Okay. Mm. All these little niggas now sound like Yeezus. That's true. Screaming all over the track, these very abstract beats. And distortion. We, although true. there was a T-Pain before 808s and Heartbreaks, yeah. it mm. was 808s and Heartbreaks that made his all sound cats. popular, which grandfathered in the sound that we have now. AKA so, Drake. Shifts, 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 if you pay he attention, the, the music has been even within the mainstream music, it has been gotten a lot more um, referential to, like, you know, biblical terms and whatnot. Mm. And Kanye is coming out with an album that may or may not sound very spiritual in taste. And so now what you're going to see is a lot of artists are going to be doing the same thing, especially these Christian rap niggas. And so mm-hmm. as Kanye do it, they're going to be on his... Um, Proverbial <laughs> yeah. stuff. They're going to be surfing his wife. <laughs> Big wife. So I just wanted... To no, no, no! Time out. Uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, no, uh, let me back it up though. No, this is coming from someone who was a yeah. He lo- I, Ozan loves Kanye. I get Cal that. can verify. No, I love does. Kanye, yeah. but I'm gonna be honest as well. You like the older <laughs> no, music? No, it's not, I, I get it, and I don't think yeah. that gay was bad, but it's like when you set up a pedestal. That's girl, it. That's okay. it. That's all True. I'm saying. Like, because if it, if that came from and this, I mean everything I say. If that came from a lesser artist, oh, it would have yeah. yeah. shredded. Kanye is arguably probably top ten. Oh yeah, yeah, easily. Artists, not yes. that yeah. Yeah. Easily. Right. Absolutely. Easily. Yeah. Artists, not yeah. that person. Absolutely, easily. Top artist, yeah, probably be higher than that ever. Yeah, yeah. Ever. Ever. I just say top ten to be safe. Yeah, <laughs> if he drops another classic, but that's the thing, easy. bro. Like, oh, he's solidified like, forever. Like, like how many classes did he drop in a row? I would have to say five. five. That whole five. College, that whole five. series of because yeah. my favorite All album was eight oh eight. It was five. Yeah, yeah. College dropout, late registration, graduation day, eight oh eight, eight oh eight. No, my beautiful twist. Bro, that is a beautiful album. It was cool. It was, what? <laughs> no, that album was that album was, it was fire. That be- that's cool. That's, 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 that's a literal. I'm not saying it's that not, is a yeah. beautiful album. Like I said, it was trash. It was cool. I said, I, so if we're counting that, I still think Jesus is a classic. You don't. That's me. That's me. Yeah. But I'm not. Only, I'm not the only person that thinks that. True. There's a whole. I've run into a lot of people who think that Jesus. You're the producer, so we have to agree. So you don't. We have to agree with you. Don't think it's a classic, because mind you, listen to what was what was being played at the time. True. But this man is a visionary because listen no, to what's is. happening now. Absolutely. No, you, Absolutely. So does that make it a classic or does that make it not a classic because of the era that it came right. out in? I agree. Right. Right. I agree. I, I'm solely gonna agree, so you don't raise the audio. <laughs> 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 he gonna muffle. He gonna muffle <laughs> cow. But do you guys think he's gonna continue these Sunday services after? The Most album? likely not. I think. I think he's legit gonna open a church, and it's gonna. He's gonna have Justin Bieber as a youth pastor. Honestly, I wouldn't be shocked. 
either as a youth pastor or a worship leader. That's but like a borderline legit question. It's one, it's one of two <laughs> things. It's one of two things. He's either going to open a church or he's just using all of this stuff just to build some more clout and get some more attention. Right. Kanye's mm-hmm. a marketing genius. I can't even be mad at it. I so mean, he's, the Christian, he got the Christian community under his thumb now. Under yeah. his so thumb. My yeah. thing is he's smart is when it crazy. comes to that. Yeah, and I, I think a song with that, I think that even Justin Bieber now is like... I, I feel like Justin Bieber's walk with Christ is more impactful just in the sense of where he came from as far as as a kid. Like, this dude's been in the business since birth, it feels like. So the process and the things that he had to endure and witness that he's even publicly says, uh, he says uh, now, and just the transformation that you see, um, I feel like, as my phone rings, um, I feel like his process and what he's doing now with his walk is more, more genuine. Um, you talking about Dan Kanye's? Dan Kanye's. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I, I can feel agree it's more with genuine. that. I can agree I with you're that. You're talking about just in Christian. And I'm not knocking Kanye. I'm not. I'm no, not no, no, judging no, no. Kanye in I, that, no, that I, context. I, I'm just saying. We just talk, talk right. about what we see and just all those things. I mean, Bieber has been on this journey at least for the past it's been a six while. to seven years, yeah. um, and it's, it's been in the public eye at least mm-hmm. for the past six to seven years and it seems like he's at a pretty solid place at this right. point in time yeah, as right composed, now yeah right, right now, now. as opposed like it to was a, fashion and pastors mm-hmm. right as opposed <laughs> to like a kanye who it seems like it pops up every once in a while when it's convenient and then now you got the card well the crazy thing about that you guys all spoke about how kanye used to be you talked about the content he wants to say something. I know he did. Dave wants so, to say something so bad. He looks like a kid doing the potty dance so right now. <laughs> yeah, like he a little dancing. kid doing the potty dance. What's up, Dave? I, I'm sorry. This is not part of my podcast. <laughs> I'm not in your podcast. I'm just Dave. You it. always have a guest yes. spot on the podcast. I, always. Still, nevertheless, I, I just want to say I think it's unfair. Unfair. Mm-hmm. I think it's always unfair that people that do not have the visibility that these celebrities have. I think it's unfair for us to judge where their walk with God is, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. mind you. Everyone in here at one time, I would have to assume, has been a trash Christian. Oh, yeah. No one just yeah. seen us. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? There's and mind you, and, and mind you, we why also, you looking so hard at me? We also <laughs> <laughs> he look hard. <laughs> mind you, some of the some of the people that we know that have been trash Christians have yeah. stumbled over women that live in San Bernardino. Whoa. So I, no, not that's what? not a diss to anybody. I'm just saying. <laughs> what is I'm that saying no, no, no. It's a reference to this. That's a reference to this. And then Calvin won't look at me. Now, <laughs> I'm not saying. That, I'm not saying <laughs> Well, I just want to see. I want to see where where Dave is going yes, down this rabbit yes, trail. Yes. So, so mind you, these people have been exposed to everything around the world, all the riches around the world. You okay. know what I'm saying, yes. I get it. and we've only seen what we're exposed to locally. So, if people like us could stumble at what we're just presented mm-hmm. with because of our lifestyles, mm-hmm. people that are lifted to a pedestal in the world where mm-hmm. they're treated as kings, mm-hmm. yeah. and then are trying to find some way mm-hmm. to have some type of semblance of mm-hmm. let me be a believer and let me be a Christian and go mm-hmm. back to him. I think it's um, unfair as other believers to here and tell them that they trash and mm-hmm. that nigga's not real when yeah. some of the people in our churches are, are, trash. are, trash. are <laughs> smashing each other mm-hmm. and then oh. doing worship Listen. that same day. Listen, yeah. I see whether, Listen, whether, whether I, I ministers, hold. deacons, elders, whatever like t- genre of Christianity you subscribe to, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a bunch of trash believers. Yeah. So I just think that yeah. we need to always show these people yeah. more grace. Oh, for sure. And, and, and my, my think, remark wasn't to, to, was to sim that either. No, it wasn't. It was a passion of ha- one of these people had the responsibility. Like, yo, people are looking at you. Be an example. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, you be an example first. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get that. And I don't... And, Correct me if I'm wrong, Cecil. Yeah, sure. You weren't coming at it. No, 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 no. Saying like, my remark ah, was yeah, based like off trash of Christian. Yeah, right, my remark was based off of because Kanye has kind of attempted this to position this thing himself. before. Yeah, and so from what from as far as from a witness perspective, even just his circle, when you don't, because what Justin did that I feel like that's different was he legit changed up his circle, like. You don't know. My, that, my comments I, were not based on your comments. Sure. My, my okay. Mind, everybody knows that my mind works as a rabbit trail. It does. And so, so you <laughs> just made me think about a thousand right, other right, things right. that are. So your comments weren't in reference to anything no, said no, in this room. It's just in general. Sure. Okay. Got you. Something that's, idea, that's, something yeah. that's got been inside you. of you that's been burning. Yes. Like burning. Yes. Like because he was flame. over here waiting for yeah. you. Like, like the Olympic flame. Y'all gonna stop getting mad at me for cussing. I love Jesus too. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Look, you good. No, but I, I think what they're doing, 
both of them. Um, and even there's other celebrities in the public eye that are trying to um, transform their lives. And God will and get the forth. glory. You know what I'm saying? Like God, God will still get the glory at the end the of the glory. day. And um, and please, please, please know, like none of us are against uh, per se what they're doing or what they're trying to do as far as even with their hearts. So uh, we're definitely praying for them. We're definitely um, even ruining them on in their walk. So, uh, you know, that's that's what it is. And that's what they're uh, going to be, you know, hopefully uh, doing. So um, as we wrap up, uh, what's your I want to just it's a side note question, just a random question. Like, what's your your hot take in life right now? Mike, go ahead. You start first. Is your locks getting longer? What I'm saying. Like, they go about <laughs> <laughs> Are you producing? Oh, what's up with the producing, man? What's going All right, on? So hey, what's going on? Yeah, um, we just want to hear from Mike. Forget us. We've talked right. enough. Mike, I'm you close good, out. Bro. What hey. are you doing? No, no, no. He ain't closing out. Uh, yeah, no, right. no, let him close out. <laughs> no, let him close out. Keep, Keep it up since 4 in the morning. Let him go. Wow. Uh, let me see. I got uh, I got like two EPs coming. Okay. My own girl, Kanina, who uh, Dave has let us use the facility to, to, to work in, which she loves, by the way. She thought. She thinks you're amazing. Not plugging for free, free, free studio studio. Just keep going. Oh, Dave's not the type of dude. He'll make me pay anyway. So, <laughs> nah, she thought you were amazing. She thought, like, she likes the whole vibe of the place. And I'm working on uh, my homegirls, um, uh, Ari, working on her yes. album. Nice. And I'm working on CL's album once he decides to jump back in the rap game. Once he decides. Bang, bang. Once he, once once he, he decides, decides to jump back in the rap game. And sooner or later, and we will have Welcome <laughs> to Calvin's World. <laughs> I don't understand why they feel so comfortable mentioning me. I mentor as mentors without a degree. Loan dues, business advice without the interest fees. Lock doors on friendships like I'm the missing keys. Let's keep going. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 he oh excuse drop me. Four. He's going to drop four. He's going to drop four. Four, right? four, four and go. Excuse four me. Four locos. Okay, that's how you feel. Excuse me. Osan, what's nothing. cracking with you in, in life right now? Man, I feel like I'm all over the place. I just got a million and one projects going on. More, place. more. <laughs> More jobs than a Jamaican. Um, Man. Nah, if we, if we want, I guess just hot takes. Um, yo, watch out for the next, let's say, six months. It's going to be crazy in this country. Yeah. Like, real wild. I don't know if Trump is going to get 100% impeached. <laughs> 80%? Like what? He's nah, he's going to get impeached by the House. He ain't going to get impeached by the Senate. But it's going to uh, it's gonna create a firestorm. And I guess just because my profession, you know, I am... Man, the cloth. Um, <laughs> expect to see the church world. <laughs> expect to see the church world, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be big C church civil war. Okay. That's what's coming. My real is, I'd rather have Trump as president and not Mike Pence as president because Mike Pence doesn't seem there. That nigga seem off. Cut oh, his mic here's, off. Here's my second. Oh, oh, oh follow up hot take to that though. Rumors are, rumors are, coming, rumors are coming out that Trump might not take Pence as his vice president for the second run around, for the second go around. I want to know. I want to know. <laughs> I have a hot take. Hot take. Please. And then I have a comment on what you just said. Are you wearing hot pants? I am. Okay. <laughs> they are because I've been <laughs> basted. Oh, got basted. it. Got it. My hot take that we're not going to talk about because it will start a whole other conversation. This upcoming NBA, NBA season will prove why LeBron shouldn't be one of the top five players of all time and how come he's not comparable to Kobe or LeBron or Michael or Michael Jordan, I meant to say. I'm trying to as, find as something. Much, no, but that's as much? We can't. I'm trying to find something. Right I'm, I'm a Lakers fan, yes. I'm a Lakers fan. I don't care if you're a Lakers fan. LeBron is overhyped. The Lakers are overhyped. They will be in the dark age for another couple of years. He is going to get injured. So is Anthony Davis. That is my hot take, but you niggas can't talk about it because we're ending now. That was sick. That was sick. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh -oh. That's fine. Now, now, Fair now. game. I, I always want to know. It's always, it's always fascinating to me why people care about politics so much because I'm 32 years old, mm -hmm. and I've been able to vote for three presidents, yep. I think, now. Yes. Since I've been alive, yep. no presidential candidate has made a difference in my life. Uh -huh. And as far as Donald Trump being a racist, I've always known presidents and white people would be racist in general. So I don't see that why that makes a difference either. But it's so, local, it's local, you know what? You know what? Yeah. You know Honestly, what? Also, we can talk about this on another podcast because I, I can go all day for this. As far as um, everyone loving our Democratic Party, and I would not well, subscribe to either I don't, one. I don't either. Either one. I don't right. think anyone I in this room does. I just think it's also amazing how our black Christians love our first half-white president. Um, <laughs> <laughs> according to the one according to how, the one drop rule, he's black. How our first... How our black Christians love our first black president, but he 
put so many things into uh, into okay. action that go against our faith. That's true. And when we blame this man, Donald Trump, for just booting out Mexicans left and right, we do not remember that good brother Barack Obama was doing that <laughs> good brother. awesomely. Good brother. He had more detention camps than the Trump did. He Not did. detention camps. He had more detention he camps. He was kicking essays out left and right. He was kicking folks out. Like, right? So I mean, That's I true. just I he, just, he was kicking just, folks out. You know what it was though. You know what it was though. I think here's the because that that point I've heard that point and right. I I agree I agree I know it's true. I think the 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 problem was is the way that Trump went about it. From the jump from his campaign, these are and rapists. I these like are that. How, I like how he does that because I like to know that my racists are racist, and I like to know that my bigots are bigots. <laughs> you know, I can agree with that. The devil me, the... bro. Right. You gonna be Barack Obama and say you love Jesus in front of people, but then you gonna. You know what I'm saying, but, but, you gonna put in, but 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 in Barack's but in Barack's defense, and this isn't this isn't this isn't no 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 this is no this is not well listen listen because yeah you're talking to the wrong one because politics I do the politics stuff and Osahan has a knife. In, on him. <laughs> it's, it's actually a, a machete. Okay. Oh, but in Barack's defense, though, in his machete. defense, though, in his defense, though, <laughs> he was open. If you, if you, if you listen to interviews and things with him, he said this, especially when it came to the issue of, you know, LGBTQIA rights and all those things. He was, he was, he was, he, he had his line. Listen, like, I'm not going that direction, so on and so forth. And I think it was halfway through, at the beginning of his second term. He talked about he had a conversation with his daughters, and their comment was, you know, Dad, like, I don't understand how these people, they're out there defending our country, they're in the military doing all these things, why is it they don't have rights? For him, it was a crisis of conscience, and he was, he's been very open and transparent about that. It is what it is. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm just saying, here's context. Before we go blasting a man and saying, like, he's a flip-flop in this, that, and the third, I'm context. Not, I'm not saying he's a flip-flop, and we don't we don't have time to get the context. Oh, I know. Episode I know. 4 is going to feature Davey. Yeah. This is how you end the podcast. I'm giving you a hot take. That's fine. That's I'm fine. I, I can do I the hot takes all day. I think it's amazing how uneducated black folk love to comment on politics and only see what's surface level and not actually do any real research but to be as to what's affecting true. them and only be dictated by what's in the media. Um, I'm done, But to be fair, I'm to be fair, to be fair, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, to be fair. Fair. To be fair, <laughs> don't come, don't come and just don't say just uneducated black folk because uneducated white folk is the reason why I, we have the president that, that we true, have. Talk, but this is for the culture. Uneducated yeah, the culture. culture, right? The culture. Yeah. You're talking about the us. culture. Yeah. No, 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 no. White people not invited. Well, actually, no, 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 no. Uneducated right, black right, folk right. though is the Wait. reason why we have the president we have as well because they sat up in them churches. I heard Billy Bob Joe saying, listen, Bro, like, these are the only things about. we need to vote right. for. Only three things Bro, we need to vote for. Anyway, I'm getting hot. You well, know. okay, so look, episode four, we're going to dive more into that. We're going to have a special Dave got guest. a hot winner body. Dave D, um, <laughs> look out for the two EPs from Mike. Calvin Sessions is going to be back live yeah. soon, right, real quick. Um, Ozahan is, is, is trailblazing at his church. Uh, look out for uh, yours truly. Look out for my project on my birthday, dropping on my birthday. It's called yeah. The Interludes. Um, and then that's it. Head to thecraftfactory.org uh, for more info, for blogs, for all of our episodes from not just us, but all the sports podcasts that we do um, from podcasts to blogs to information of events and upcoming news. Again, go to thecraftfactory.org. In the meantime, this is For the Culture. Tune in next time with you guys. Peace.